All right, my friends. Today we are going to talk about roofs. Today's Revit tip will take us all over the top of the roof. There's a lot of tricks that you can do up on top of the roof or with the roof by footprint that a lot of people don't know. And so hopefully this will add a little bit to your roof skills and, uh, and then maybe you can make just about any roof you want up there, all right? So here we go. I'm gonna share my screen and let me just share this Revit with you guys. Share, my, oh, whatever, okay, there we go. There we go with Reddit. <clears throat> okay, let me get my face down here where you can see me. And what I want to do here is talk to you about roofs. Um, I am going to, actually, I'm going to pin that site and then tell it not to pick anything pinned so that I don't accidentally pick it anymore. I'm going to pick that sidewalk and pin it. There, look at that. So <clears throat> that's just a, uh, a heads up, friends that if you, um, if, you're, if you get tired of your cursor, whenever it crosses over the top of something, it selects it like blue, take a look, it's not doing it on my site now. What I did was I just pinned my site in this little sidewalk, and I told down here in the right corner, the third button over, just look down there, the third button says, do not accidentally pick anything that's pinned. Ta-da! <laughs> I love it when the plan comes together. Okay. But that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about roofs. And so let's take these roofs one step at a time, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to take a wall. Okay, I'm just going to pick this wall. And I'm going to take a wall that goes up from the first floor to the second floor. Okay. And let's just keep it simple. Just going to make ourselves a little rectangle building right there. Bam. Okay. We got ourselves a little tiny building. Okay. Now, what I want to do is put a little roof on top of this. And so I'm going to go to the top view of this. Mm hmm maybe the plan view of this. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to um, hide everything over there. Zoom extends, there we go. This is the little building that we just put in there, okay? I just, it's, it's tiny and I don't even care how big it is, okay? I, I want you to see um, how to do roofs, okay? So if I go to put a roof on this, I'm gonna go roof by footprint. That's what we're mostly talking about today. There's other ways to make roofs, but I'm gonna click on roof by footprint and I want it to go to the second floor, okay? And then I'm gonna just leave it on a, I don't know, one foot overhang up here. So when I click on this, what it does is it gives me the world's quickest hip roof. It, it, these have little carrots on them and they're all set to seven, um, in fact, they're, they're all set to seven um, and 12, and you can just highlight them all. And over here, you can set them to four and 12, whatever. And when I check the box, we, it builds us a hip roof, okay? And so <clears throat> what I wanna do is, I'm gonna hit match properties, I'm gonna put that, there we go. I just want you to see this roof here. So we're gonna go back to 3D, boom, and we've got the world's simplest hip roof, okay? You can pick this roof anytime you want and then change its slope. I'm gonna change it up to eight and 12. Boop. So boop. That's, that's a boop. That's the sound that roofs make when you change their slope. Okay, <clears throat> that is the world's easiest roof. And Revit doesn't care what shape your building is, it will most of the time work. If you're doing some whack curve that comes in and doubles back on itself, it, it could crash on you and you're gonna have to build separate pieces to put it together instead of just one big one. But Revit does a pretty good job with these roofs. Mm. A little bit of coffee to keep me going. Okay, now let me just show you. Sometimes people say, well, what? I just didn't, I didn't want a hip. I wanted it to be a gable on the end. Well, you can do that. You can pick the roof and even here in 3D, this works. I am going to edit footprint. Now this line right here is attached. When, when it has this little carrot on here, and it is, it's technically called defining a slope, okay? This defines a slope, and it's attached to the top of the wall, such that it pivots on the top of the wall, okay? But if I uncheck that box up there, I highlight this one line and uncheck that box that says define slope, then this one side goes where it needs to go based on the others that are defining slopes. 
So if the other three are defining slopes, this one won't. It will go where it has to. And this one is sloping up and this one is sloping up. So you'll find this one releases, okay? It releases up into a gable. Now you could tell, actually, edit footprint. You can tell this guy, you know what? I, I want less of a, I'm gonna go six inches. I just want less of an overhang and you can adjust the overhang of it still. It's just not defining a slope any longer, okay? Now you find that birds are gonna get in right there, okay? Pigeons are gonna go in. So when you're, when you're faced with this, don't build a separate piece of wall there to fill that hole. Simply pick the wall that's below and then you pick this tool up here, attach to the top or the base, okay? So I'm gonna hit attach to the top. Bink, and it extends that wall up. Now sometimes you'll have a little gaposis there. That's because the other wall around the corner needs to do the same thing, okay? So if, you're, if you want to, you can grab, you can hover over one of these walls and hit tab and it'll grab all four at the same time. And then you can hit attach, to roof, and now all four are attached to the roof, such that, I know this is crazy, but you see that guy right there? there? The walls are attached. If I ran this thing up, it's going to the second floor, but if I said go up um, 40 feet above the, the second floor, whoop, hey, where's my roof? Base socks, oh, it's, um, <laughs> I, oh, it's, it's going off the, it's going out of the top of the crop. <laughs> That startled me for a second, friends, because it just so happens that this is my cropping um, box and the <laughs> I had it hidden. Okay, so here is, it's a, called a section box. Anyway, you see that roof right there? I can say, oh, wait, I only want that to be 20 feet above the second floor. Okay, 10 feet above the second floor. See how the walls stay attached? Pretty cool. So I'm gonna go back to zero above the second floor. Okay, so here we go. We've got this beautiful little building and you can, re you can make it a hip or you can release and make the different sides um, work. That's, a, that's one of the tricks, okay? Next little trick I wanna show you is releasing part of the roof, like part of the slope. So if you had a window down here, let's say there's just a, a window sitting there, ta-da, window, and it's sitting on there and I, I'm gonna make the sill height uh, maybe a foot, okay? or two feet, come on, two feet, there. I would like this roof to extend a little over this window. You can pick this roof, edit the footprint. Now what I wanna do is I'm gonna go up here to my tools and it's the little tool is called split element, okay? You can type SL, but look, I'm gonna pick here, okay? And I'm gonna pick right over here and, and it really doesn't matter where for this experiment. But look, it has broken it into three separate pieces. This guy is defining a slope. So is this one, so is this one. So if I said finish, you wouldn't even notice. But if I told this middle one, wait a second, this middle one right here, what if it is gone? <laughs> what if it's gone? I can draw in another piece, okay, and over and another little piece out. I'll trim those guys. They're all defining a slope, which is not good. I want these three, these three, okay? <laughs> I want these, th these three to not define a slope. So look, they don't have the little carrot on it, the little slope symbol. So these are gonna hold tight and these are going to extend further, see? Like that. And you can decide how far that goes by where you draw it. So you can extend this down further on down, okay? Now, I'm gonna grab these walls again, tab, and I'm gonna copy this over. <laughs> Let's just put it over here, okay? And we'll start a new little roof over here. Okay, here's our little building. And I'm gonna put a little roof on this thing and I'm gonna show you a couple other things. Is it far enough away? No. Okay, move it a little bit further down the road. Okay, so now I'm gonna put a little roof over the top of this thing. It's really tough to, you can put the roof on from this view if you want to, but I like going to the plan view, but let me just show you here. If I said architecture roof, I want it to go only up to the second floor, okay, on the second floor, and I'm gonna use this building. So I can put my cursor on it, 
And I could go click, 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 but it's faster. Look at this, hover over one and hit tab. It picks all four and one click, I get all four lines, okay? Even if you have a crazy shape buildings, hover over one of the walls and hit tab and it'll grab the whole loop and one click you can have a roof done, okay? So anyway, if this guy here, look at this, if this guy here, <clears throat> um, oh, here's what I wanna show you. The, um, I'm gonna finish, okay? We got ourselves a hip roof and it's orange, okay. Mm -hmm. Match properties from the one nearby, bam, there we go. Okay, what I wanna show you guys is how to make a little bird's nest over the top of this window. Instead of extending out over the window, I'm gonna make a little bird's, a, a bird's, um, bird's, it's not a bird's nest, it's called an eyebrow, okay. So here I'm gonna click on the roof, edit, and look at this, right? I'm gonna swing around here to the front of it just so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> and I'm gonna split again, look at this. I'm gonna split right in where the window is. And I'm gonna split, let's just split four feet away on one side, okay? And four feet away on the other side. It's hard to read, I know. But, okay, these guys here, I need to set those to not, now work with me here. I'm gonna make a bird's eye here. I mean, I keep calling it a bird's eye. It's an eyebrow, mm -hmm. like that, right there, okay? Mm. An eyebrow over this window. I'm gonna tell these not to define a slope. So I've got two lines here that are not defining a slope, but I want to kick them up. I want to pick them up like this. So I can use a slope arrow, okay? I can pick this slope arrow, and I can put the slope arrow from this corner. Now I could point it anywhere I want, but I want it from that corner down to here, okay? All right, and I want a, a another slope barrel from here going this direction, okay? Now, wait for it. This, this one that's heading toward the window, I'm gonna say at the tail, I want it at the default, but at the head, I want it to go up, okay, four feet, okay? Same with this one, see the tail, the head. So I'm gonna set that up to four feet, okay? And so these are told to come along and kick up to four feet on both sides, all right? And this is what you get, a bird's eye. I mean, a bird's eye, I keep saying bird's eye! Hey! <laughs> it's an eyebrow, and you can extend the roof. Now, I went four, I told it to go four feet, it doesn't have to be four feet. I, could, I can adjust those so it doesn't crack over the top of the roof. But again, you can pick the wall, attach it up under there, okay? And it'll extend up underneath. So you can make these crickets, if you would call them, not a cricket. You can call it a, a, an eyebrow on your roof all the way around. It's really a powerful tool. Boom! Now, there's another roof that, um, that you may want to do. Sometimes, okay, I'm gonna get tab, club, grab all those. Um, copy, I'm gonna copy this, this little house right over here, okay? We're gonna do another one, okay? Here we go. Let me just put another hip roof on this thing. I'm gonna go back to roof and roof bearing, <clears throat> no. I want it to be second floor, yes. And remember, tab, click, and I don't want it to be a generic roof. I want it to be standing seam and done. So here we go, we got our, our typical little hip roof on here. Now, let's just suppose that <clears throat> I would like this to be asymmetrical, okay? Let me come around to the end of this thing and talk to you. All right, I'm gonna edit the footprint. I'm gonna make the two end pieces, okay? These two ends, I am going to make them not have a slope, like this one and this one not have slope, okay? So we already know that that is gonna kick it up like this, okay? And if I tell tab all walls to attach to the roof, okay, we're back to a normal house here. This is totally normal. But sometimes your bearing on one wall is different than the bearing on the other. So take a look at this. You can highlight this roof, and if I edit the footprint, I can tell this one, this one side right here, it is sitting exactly, look at this, it's offset from the base, the plate is zero. But if I shoot this up, say three feet or so, look what it does. It lifts the bearing 
of this one side asymmetrically up, okay? So that you, and it shifts, it does, because we're using the same slope, it shifts the center line of the, um, the roof. It, it lifts it, so it's gonna, it's gonna shift this, the uh, ridge line off to the side. But that's how Revit works. It, it works automatically, and it's pretty amazing, okay? So you can shift by, you can lift one of your bearing points to a different height to, because sometimes that's what you want on your roof, okay? All right, let's go to another trick. Um, how about a gambrel roof? Now, some of you might go, what is a gambrel roof? And I'm gonna show you. Revit, it, it takes an extra piece of roof to make a gambrel. I'm gonna show you right here. I'm gonna um, get this house. I'm gonna copy the house right over here. I'm gonna make a gambrel roof on this thing. So what I wanna do is put a normal gable roof on it like a normal, I'm uh, not Gable, I'm gonna put a normal um, hip roof on it. Okay. And then I'm just gonna, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's fast to put a hip roof, look at that. I mean, I can get hip roofs like that on these buildings. Okay, now, Gambrel. I'm gonna shoot this, I'm gonna rock this thing up to an eight and 12 so it's a little more dramatic for you. Or maybe 10 and 12, whoa, whoa. 12 and 12, whoa, dude, you're really rocking it. Okay, now what I want, I'm just gonna, let me just show you what we want here, okay? I'm gonna go to the top view, okay? Top view, mm -hmm. sight plan, top view. This is the roof we're dealing with here. And what I wanna do is have a gambrel. I wanna have a it cut right here. I want the ridge to go all the way to right here, okay? And so, let me just show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to here. I'm gonna say, edit the footprint. I know. And look at this. I want this footprint to be cut out. Well, I'm gonna, well, let me just copy this. I'm gonna copy this edge back maybe um, four feet, okay? And then I'm going to take this corner and come in on it, and this corner to come in on it. I'm gonna trim it out. Okay, and get rid of this one. Now, these three here need to not define a slope. They need to just go where they need to go, okay? I'm going to say not define a slope, okay? So let's just take a look at what that roof did, okay? Let's just, and <laughs> there it is. We just chopped open the roof at that point, okay? This is on its way to a gambrel, wait for it. And so we're gonna go back to the side plan, okay? I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side so you can see this is pretty cool. I'm gonna edit the footprint. And if I want to, look at this, I can grab these lines, mirror them to the other side on the center point, okay? Get rid of that and done. We've got ourselves a gambrel roof, but it's not done. Water's gonna get in right here and leak like a sieve and birds are gonna get in. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go get a, another roof, okay? Same bearing point off of this wall, okay? Same bearing point, but I'm gonna use, Line, I'm going to use this one and this one and this one and trim these. So the only, the only one that is defining a slope is this edge and it's coming in over to here. Okay. So that is what it's going to look like. And I'm going to mirror it over to the other side so you can see how this works over there. And then I'm going to go to 3D and you're going to see a gambrel here. What we need to do is put, <laughs> we need to put a roof, I mean, a little wall in here and, and clean this up. But, oh man, of course, because it's probably, um, oh wait, this one is at, oh, I'm going to make these two side ones at, let's just see what, what it is. I'm, let me see if I can clean this up fast. Eight and 12, the big one at eight and 12, and this one at eight and 12. It didn't quite close that hole. I'm just, I'm going to close the hole here so birds don't get in. <laughs> All right, 6 and 12. There we go. This one at 6 and 12. There we go. All right. And this is, now, the right way to do it is to actually put a wall in there. But what I've done, friends, is I've just lowered it down so that it's hitting. You can see the end of the raptor there. And then I'm just going to paint it. I'm just going to use, I'm going to go to uh, manage or, no, modify. And I'm going to use the paint tool. And I'm gonna paint the roofing um, 
what's it called, standing seam, metal seam, uh, seam. I'll just use the word seam. You gotta find, um, you gotta find there. Look at that. Is that sweet or what? <laughs> and I'll come around the other side and paint it too. You gotta make sure that you paint the right surface. Look at that. And so I just, this is a gambrel roof that you've seen on some homes. And I just showed you how to build one, okay? Yes, the right way is not just to lower it so that you can't see through and the birds don't get in. You can just build a wall right there and then paint it um, with the roofing material. Same thing, but I just wanted to speed the process up. All right, this is just some tips and tricks on how to work with these roofs. I got a lot here for you guys to work with. I want you to practice some of these things and start um, seeing how, seeing what you can do with the different roof shapes that you have on your building. Just start working with some of these little skill sets and you should be able to do some pretty amazing pieces and parts, okay? And some amazing roofs. I'll bring us back here. You guys have a fantastic rest of your day. I hope this helps you with roofs over your buildings. If you have questions at all for roofs that are with a footprint, put them in the uh, link uh, or in the you know comments below, and I'll get back to them. We're gonna we'll go into roof um, by um, face and roof by a extrusion at a different date. In fact, I'll even show you one of these days how to make a dormer roof. Woohoo! Those are really tricky. All right. I hope you guys have a great day. Until we meet again, happy reviting. Okay, bye bye.